Hey everybody, JK Calloway here. Got the boys watching Among Us videos in the background, but before we get into the finale of Haunting a Bly Manor, we gotta give a few Patreon shoutouts, new people joining the Patreon, supporting the channel. I thought you guys were watching a video. Did you join? Do you wanna join? If you haven't downloaded Among Us, download it now. If you haven't downloaded Among Us? It's a great game. First off, we got a brand new $5 backer. It's actually someone who's been a long time $2 backer and they bumped up. Andreas Zaman. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if it's not, but thank you so much. Also, we've got a brand new $10 backer. Her name is Sean Moore. Thank you, Sean. And we've got two new longtime patron backers who bumped up to 10 bucks, which is amazing. Thank you to Ali Slate and Jezebel. You guys are awesome. So as always, yeah, thank you to all of our patrons, all of our YouTube subscribers. We're over 7K on YouTube now. Now, we're close to 100 patron subscribers. Sorry, they're screaming. I'm sure you can still hear me, hopefully. But yeah, thank you guys so much. It's amazing. But for now, let's jump into the season finale of The Haunting of Bly Manor. I don't know. Hey, everybody. J.K. Calloway here with Siobhan. Jumping back into the finale of Haunting of Bly Manor. Episode 9 is called The Beast in the Jungle. Right when you think you th know what's going on, they're going to throw a lion at you. So yeah, we don't know what that's referenced to, but yeah, last we left off was all about uh, the, the previous owners yes. of Bly Manor way back when. Uh, I don't remember the Viola. character name. Viola? Huh? Viola. I'm not sure. Vi Vi Viola? But it's... Uh, v. We'll call her V. I know it started with a V. Viola. Oh, you're right. I think it's Viola. Or Viola. One of the other. But uh, it was Theo from the first season, which is awesome. Glad she at least got something to do. Uh, I I'd feel bad for her if up until that point, all she had been doing is wearing a, a faceless mask. If that was actually her, that'd be rough. But I mean, it it's the director's wife. She better get a role. That would be hell to pay. If I was making a YouTube channel and I didn't put you on it, you would divorce me. That's why we're here. But yeah, we know who Lady in the Lake is now. Uh, we don't know how to defeat her. Or if there is such a thing, if everyone's just gonna like, screw it, we're out. Which is, you know, haunting haunted houses, that's your move. Why, why is it always like, oh, we could fix this. We should find out why they're here. No, get the fuck out. Let someone else deal with that shit. Every Amityville horror movie and show or book made doesn't need to be made. Just get out. Just go find another house. There's a lot of them. I don't know if you've seen the place, America. Lots of houses. We're in Britain now. Still lots of houses. See all the space around there? Build a mile away. Build a new one. Doesn't have to be a castle. This is good advice. It is good advice. Although there's no such thing as ghosts, but still, it's good advice. So we're still dealing with Peter and Rebecca who are taking over the kids, although Rebecca seems like she's just kind of like, nah, I'm out. I ain't gonna yep. harm children, obviously, but Peter could give a shit. Uh, so Miles is gonna be a problem. Yeah. Someone did ask in the comments of one of the videos, by the way, uh, that was a while ago, but a question for you. What what would you do if you had a student like Miles? If I had a student like Miles? Mm -hmm. In what way? What if you had a student like Miles? That was a cheeky little bastard? Or killing birds and choking out classmates. Uh, I would refer him to our counselor, who then would refer him, you know, to other people, and I would get him out of my room. Passing the buck, passing the responsibility. I am not a psychiatrist or a psychologist. You're a teacher. You're a fix-all. No, we're not. I had a situation where I was teaching third grade and there was a kid who would like to stab things with boxes. Or, I'm sorry, stab boxes with things. Oh. That's what I meant to say. I'm not fully awake. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> stabbing things with boxes? Let them do it. It's okay, the corners. And if it's cardboard, we're gold. Stab away, kiddo. No, and it was he. He was a scary, scary little third grader, and I was told to just let him sit in a corner and 
you know, make sure he doesn't harm himself, but there's nothing that they can do because the parents refused help. Well, no, but I don't know if you know this as a teacher, but every child is super, super special and really important and perfect in every way. My kid can't have anything wrong with him. Not my kid. That means there's something wrong with me. So yeah, we'll see what their game plan is, how they decided to end the show, uh, see if there's a way out of the situation they're in. I doubt it. They right. might just end up running. But Henry's on the way. He's on the way to the house. And uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> right. Maybe his smiling demon can help out. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Before we get going, make sure you do hit subscribe right there. Right around 6,900, 7,000, who knows? This is, we're actually recording this a good week and a half before it's coming out on YouTube, but thank you for all the support. It's amazing. Uh, make sure you do hit like on the video so more people find it. It's been a hell of a show. I've liked Hill House better so far. We'll see how they end it. But Hill House's finale was really good, so we'll see. Also check out Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash JK reacts full reactions to everything we do, including Bly Manor. They will all be up there for our $2 backers. Plus we do exclusive stuff for our $5 backers and up and stranger things and better call Saul. We're almost done with better call Saul. Mm -hmm. Only two weeks left of better call Saul. And then all five seasons are done. It's really good. It's one of those, like it's just Slow gradually brain. really brilliant. Yeah. Just like breaking bad was honestly. Right. We're also doing full season drops of shows. Uh, this past week or this week, we actually dropped Euphoria for our $10 backers all in one day. So if you want to check that one out and my thoughts on a bunch of teenage girls and boys having sex and drugs and everything, I'm 40. Yeah, it's totally up my alley. Fentanyl was a thing when I was a kid, wasn't it? Nope, just pot and booze. X. There was X, I did some X. That's about it. I can't think of anything else. Acid was a thing. I never did that. Like, like the most recent episode I watched, uh, she did fentanyl. Oh. You know. Why is Xanax the most popular drug right now? I'm assuming because of its numbing properties and we're living in a hellscape. That's not fun. <laughs> Drugs are supposed to be fun. If you're going to have an addiction, at least have fun. I don't know. I'm not an addict, so I can't relate, but it's a hell of a show. Go check it out. The Beast in the Jungle. You ready? I'm ready. See how they end it? I'm afraid.
Okay. And it would have all gone that way had not the au pair, in that critical moment, said what she said. It's you! It's me! It's her husband! the well. Please tell Owen I'm sorry. Tell him I love him. And the rest, well, it's just... <laughs> job with the clothes. Jesus! What happened? I saw her. I saw her. Go, go, go. Um. Okay. Danny. Danny. <gasps> Danny. It's okay. It's okay. The au pair knew the moment had come. The beast had lurked indeed, and the beast, at its hour, had sprung. Just going back to Belay. And so the gardener found herself back at oh. Belay Manor. She one is. last time. In both shows, Nellie and Danny are going to end up going back to the house and killing themselves. I don't like that. words she'd heard those years ago. She wielded with everything she had. You, me, us, us. Drag me down like you did the others. But the lady in the lake was different now. The lady in the lake was 
was also Danny. No one would ever be taken again. And no one has been taken to this day. For the rest of her days, the gardener would gaze into reflections, hoping to see her face. Her own lady in the lake. She'd leave a door open at night, just a crack, should she ever come back. More time will pass, and the water will wash away the delicate features of her. Of her beautiful, perfect face. She's got the ring. But she won't be hollow, nor empty. I told you. The story wasn't exactly short. <laughs> I liked your story. I'm glad. I think you set it up wrong just in the beginning. Is that so? You said it was a ghost story. It isn't. No? It's a love story. It's a love story? I thought you might be making it up just off that name. That name? But then I figured, how could you know that? My middle name is Flora. Is that right? Hmm. Good night. Good night. Here's hoping you die first. Okay. So I can just tell weird stories of weddings. Sounds good. So I saw a bunch of reviews saying it just wasn't a very good show. What the hell? That was great. What, like, people are dumb. I hate people. <laughs> it's just negativity is what sells now. So fuck you. That was a beautiful show. Mm -hmm. You know? I would have liked to have maybe seen like Danny try to figure out who the lady in the lake is or something like that but whatever it's, it's fine well it's I, clear that Jamie went back to figure it out or she made the whole thing up oh. <laughs> you know that's kind of the, the fun part of shows like this maybe she just made the whole story up maybe she fell in love with someone who was schizophrenic and just made up a story about it after she killed herself who knows it could be that simple I thought it was really lovely. You know, sad that Danny ended up killing herself. You know? Mm -hmm. It was lovely. It's perfectly splendid. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you nerd. For a second, I was hoping, like, at the end, when, when Jamie was talking to the bride, I was hoping the bride was like, that was a perfectly splendid story. Like, ee! No. Well, almost. She said perfectly, but it's clear that they forgot all of that. Right. She lost her British accent. I don't think that was the implication that those were those characters that they just forgot everything because Henry did not forget everything you know I think no, the implication he... was like she was just kind of like oh you're kind of like this person or you're kind of like this person you know I don't think Henry would have changed Flora's name you know but left it as a middle name I don't think those were the same people yeah I you mean know. it could go either way it could and that's that kind of the cool part of the story. Mm -hmm. It could go either way. But I really liked it. It was, you know, I liked Hill House better. <laughs> that's just a more flushed out story, I feel. But they were both really good. And I can't wait to see if they try something else. Mm -hmm. You know? And now I gotta go reread Turning the Screw and see what I missed. Because I, eh, I didn't remember much. Telltale Heart. Ooh, that'd be fun. Get in some Poe. Let's get some Poe. Well, thank you guys for watching, joining us for this one. Leave comments, let us know what you thought of the series itself, and of course the finale. And uh, let us know where you are. Do you think uh, that was Flora getting married? Do you think it was just literally Her slate clean? Yeah. 
or was either way what was made up what wasn't you know Jamie just you know in mourning still who knows with the story but it was beautiful it was really cool yeah. But yeah thank you guys for watching we'll talk to you next time cheers